Hey, y'all. Welcome back out to Memorial Stadium. I can't believe I'm already saying this, but football is back in the Treasure State. Now, I'm live at Memorial Stadium where our AA teams are getting underway for their first official scrimmages of the year. As you can see behind me, the Bison on the sidelines as they get ready to kick off. Now, a couple of things we're following with the Bison this year. The first and most obvious is that QB spot. Andrew Almos was announced as the starting QB, and he told me last week that he's going to be more of a running quarterback as opposed to the throwing quarterback that Blake Thielen was. So, and in the end, Mark Sampson wants him to make a household name for himself right here in the Electric City. So we'll be keeping an eye out on him, and we'll have all those highlights for you coming up in a bit. But it's not the only football happening tonight. We're going to head across town. That's where we find our Leo Goldman standing by at Jack Johnson Pride Field. Now, Leo, the Rustlers didn't have the best season last year, but how do the green and gold look today? Hey, Haley. Well, you kind of hit the nail on the head right there. Last year was a bit of a rough patch for the 2018 CMR Rustlers. But you know what? I'll tell you what. They've looked really good tonight, both on offense and on defense. Good news. I'll have highlights for you coming up in the later shows for tonight. And I'll have some sound from Coach Lowry as these guys are getting ready to get going on their scrimmage. And I'll tell you what. Green versus gold. Who's going to come out on top? Find out tonight. Stay tuned. But for now, Leo Goldman, SWX Montana. All right, thanks so much, Leo. Of course, we couldn't get away with tonight without checking in with our Helena teams. So with that, let's head down to the capital city, and that's where we find our favorite Helena sports reporter, Mr. Jeremy Schnell. Now, Jeremy, I understand both Helena teams are out at Vigilante tonight. What can you tell us about the action so far? Yes, thanks, Haley. The, the Bengals are about to start their scrimmage in just about 30 minutes from now. But the Bruins just wrapped theirs up, and Coach Mahelish told me that his upperclassmen are going to have to really step up this year. Now watch out for quarterback Bridger Grovem and linebacker Zane McCormack as they are going to look to get this team back on track this year. Moving over to the Bengals side, as they uh, graduated a lot, of inter uh, or a lot of important seniors last year, so they're looking for some guys to fill in those holes. Coach is really looking forward to this scrimmage to see who's going to step up big for them this year. Other than that, make sure to stay tuned for highlights from these two scrimmages and the Carroll one. But for now, I'll send it back to you. Redshirt freshman for the first time. All right, thanks so much, Jeremy. Well, we're going to switch to a little bit of college football now. Not last week, Montana State announced Casey Bauman as their starting QB for the season. And our Annika Cook got the chance to talk with the redshirt freshman since he took the reins last week. Casey Bauman had six plays to show his potential last season against Cal Poly. But now, the official starting quarterback says things have changed. It does feel a little bit different, but you want to make it the same every day. You want to make every day the same. You want to come out and give it your best. So it's a good feeling, but um, it just means there's more work to be done. we got a lot of games this year and some high expectations. Though he always seems to go with the flow, Bauman's teammates have noticed a new persona surrounding number seven. He's kind of got that confidence, you know, that little bit of swagger. And I mean, as any starting quarterback in the Division One program should, and I think that's what actually even helps make a quarterback great, because you got to be confident in your throwing ability, you got to be confident in your game. So I think that it's been good that we deemed a starter so that he could get his mind mentally right, you know, be confident in himself. Bauman credits Troy Anderson for helping boost his leadership skills. But it's also the mental aspect that he's grown into. I'm just understanding the game, have the game slow down for me. In the last half of the season, I was towards backup, so it had to be like you prepare like you're the starter every week. So I think that helped me a lot um, because it's kind of the same thing as a starter. On the field, he's just thankful for all of the weapons he's supplied with. Guys like Kevin, Travis, Lance, all those guys, when they can, I mean, they just make me look great. Um, it's awesome that I can just throw it in the vicinity and they'll come down with it, so that's a great feeling. As the Cats roll into their first game week, emotions are starting to bubble about Texas Tech. The nerves will be there for sure, but at the end of the day, um, it's just another day. And I know that those guys are going to be riding for me, and I'm going to give my best for them, too. In Bozeman, I'm Annika Cook. That's your check on sports. We'll be right back.